Hi everyone, it's Jessica here from Paper Ink Stamp and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at issue 94 of Creative Stampin. This month's free gift is called Garden Gnomes and of course you get the A4 stamp set and we do get some backing papers as well. But as always let's just take a quick look at some of the inspiration in the magazine itself. So in here you can see lots of different kinds of concept cards. You've got a how to make a, a pop out swing card. Uh, you've got lots of tutorials in here how to create highlights for the alcohol markers. Of course you don't just have to use the alcohol markers that they are suggesting in the magazine these techniques will work for any alcohol markers that you might have at home and there's always so many great examples of using the, maybe the smaller stamps that come in these A4 stamp packs uh, to create different kinds of backgrounds just to make more interesting products, projects and to help stretch those stamps a little bit further. You don't always have to use the really big stamp sets. You know, you can use those smaller ones um, and like I said, create some really great cards with them. But now let's take a quick look at what comes included in next month's issue. So this set is called Message in a Bottle and it looks like there's a couple of stamps there designed by Lisa Horton. There's a couple of downloadable papers and I believe there is a stencil as well coming with that set. So that could be really interesting to see what kind of cards we get and we can create with that. But now let's take a look at the actual free gifts and the stamp set itself. So at a quick look there at the stamps, you can see that there was a sentiment and lots of smaller um, stamps in there. And this also comes with an A4 pack of uh, decorative papers so these are a lot thicker than I think some of the regular papers that have come through with it and that's really great I actually really liked working with these there is two sheets of each um, design and there are some really great sort of scene building ones in in this pack so today's cards we're actually going to be creating two and they're going to be relatively simple so you can see the uh, papers that I've got here um, so the one that you've got the sky and the grass and then you've got the one at the bottom which has got those flower pots on it so this is really great if you want to create some quick and easy cards maybe if you don't like um, blending and you're not interested in uh, blending inks to create backgrounds this is going to be perfect so let's get into creating our cards so I'm going to be creating two cards today I thought why not since I've got this stuff out I'm going to be creating two slimline cards today these are top folding and they are three and a half by five and a half inch so they're just slightly smaller than a slimline um, but these were just some off cuts that I had uh, from when I was cutting down some card banks and I thought I didn't want to waste it so I would turn them into just smaller cards so you can see that I've taken this background of paper so I'm just going to trim this one down slightly um, and I'm going to be able to get two backgrounds for both of my cards they're going to be the same and you can see that you've got a lovely little bit of grass and a little uh, and quite a large area for the sky so what I'm going to be doing for today's card is just popping on one of the gnomes and then just a couple of other stamps as well so this has worked really really well this is almost like a kit in itself where it has come with some papers so I'm going to be using these background papers uh, for my card and then I'm going to be matte and layering that onto this green checkered card as well so you can see how this is going to matte and layer together so we have got that green checkered background first of all and then we have got our really lovely grass and sky sort of pre-made um, scene for us that's going to go on top and like I said we're going to add um, a gnome we're going to add a couple of other accessories and then we're going to use just some of those smaller stamps as well just to decorate but the most important thing and the one thing I'm going to probably concentrate on more in this video is going to be the colouring. So as I said, we've got a really great size gnome in here as well. Um, I'm going to do the gnome, I'm going to do the plant pot that's got the uh, three flowers in it. And I'm going to do some watering cans. I don't end up using them on the card, um, but I am going to stamp them out anyway. And I'm going to be using my alcohol markers to colour these in. So I'm going to be stamping with my Tim Holtz stamping platform just so I can stamp all three of these at the same time and the really great benefit of using the stamping platform is that if I need to restamp these images I absolutely can and I'm not going to have any issues not getting it lined up again. So I've popped my paper right into the corner of the stamping platform and I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This is an alcohol friendly ink and um, so it's perfect for using with your copits. I'm going to be using my tri blends, whatever alcohol markers you have have got you want to make sure that you are using the right ink so the other really great thing about using the stamping platform is that I can go ahead then and rotate my cardstock and stamp these just as easy these did actually stamp really well the first time but I did want to have just a slightly darker outline so I did stamp those a second time and you can see there I've just rotated it and I can stamp these again 
So now I'm going to zoom in and show you the colouring. I'm going to be using a combination of the Copic sketch markers I've got and then of course my Spectrum Noir tri-blend markers. So this is me just colouring at real time. I'm not doing anything too fancy. This is going to be some really basic colouring but at the end I am going to add some white gel pen highlights just to um, make them a little bit more interesting. So what I'm going to do now is speed up the video. I'm just going to pop a little bit of music on and then I'm going to come back when we've done the colouring. So now you can see our colouring all finished and I did just do their tops in two different colours just to change up the design a little bit but everything else was exactly the same. And I did then go ahead and just fussy cut these with my scissors um, and I think they all came out really great. So I have already assembled my card, so for our top panel, this background piece, I just used my purple tape runner to attach that to then that green checkered card. And then I did use some of Simon Says Stamp's Big Mama foam tape just to add a little bit of dimension from our panels onto our card base. And this Big Mama foam tape is really, really great. I'm so happy that I bought it. It's a really great sort of thin foam tape and there's loads on the roll and I just think it adds such great dimension without it becoming sort of too bulky some of my foam pads can be quite thick um, and sometimes it really is just too much but I think this is perfect and because it's on the roll as well it means I can cover the whole of the back of my panel and then I'm not going to get any sort of sagging in any areas so I'm not going to add any more dimension onto this card so I'm just going to tape uh, these images onto my cards uh, just flat with the tape runner but I am going to add some extra stamped images and of course then our sentiment as well. So I didn't end up using those watering cans. I was intending to use them on the inside, but I actually add some of this uh, patterned paper onto the inside as well, just to make that a little bit more interesting. But because this is a smaller card, you don't need to have as much to be able to fill it. You don't want to sort of squish everything on here. If that's the case, then you can just simply make a bigger card. But I think this gnome fits perfectly on this three and a half by five and a half inch card. And as I said, I'm going to add a piece of patterned paper to the inside. So they've got this really beautiful, big sort of daisy patterned paper, but you've still got a lot of that blue paper in there as well. That sort of looks like the sky. And that's going to be perfect to have enough space to write your message. So I've just trimmed this down and I've literally just added some of my purple tape pen to the back of it. And that is just going to fit in there perfectly. And I am also going to stamp a sentiment in there as well. 
So when it came to stamping the inside of this card, it worked perfectly fine because there wasn't too much dimension. And I'm going to be stamping the sentiment, have a happy day. And I really love how this has come out. I think it looks really great on that patterned paper and it just makes the inside of your cards just a little bit more interesting. I'm inking this up with the VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I am just going to let this sit on one side just to dry a little bit just so I don't end up smudging that sentiment on the inside of my card. So once I'd let that dry I did stamp a couple of additional stamps like I said onto the front of my card. So they had two but sized butterflies stamps included in this stamp set so I stamped two of the smaller ones and then one of the bigger ones as well. I do wish that I'd done my sentiment before stamping these butterflies because the way that I'd stamped them didn't give me enough room to use the happy birthday exactly how I wanted to use it. I do wish now that I just stamped it onto a piece of additional cardstock and then just attached it maybe with some foam tape. I think that would have give it a much better finished look um, but unfortunately I'd already stamped these butterflies and I sort of went with it but I wasn't really happy with the results that I got. So the sentiment I wanted to use was this happy birthday but again because of how I had uh, positioned those butterflies I did in the end have to cut that happy birthday sentiment in half so I could have happy and then the birthday stamp underneath this because I have already decided who is going to be receiving one of these cards and it is going to be a birthday card but you can see here there's just not quite enough space to get that all the way across so I did then decide to put this into my stamping platform just so I could line these two stamps up perfectly and get it in a really great position but the problem was because I've already created my card at this point I've got that foam um, dimension in there already this ended up kind of being too big for my stamping platform I couldn't got, quite get that far right hand side to stamp properly so it's definitely worth thinking about these kind of things maybe before you assemble your card or at least then if you are going to be doing something like this you know maybe do it on a separate piece of cardstock so I decided that I didn't want to just have a black ink sentiment um, because I've already got the black from the butterflies and I wanted to do a blue colour just to sort of match in with his top. So I did start off by using one of the, uh, I think it was the Distress Oxide inks. Um, I want to say I used the Salty Ocean colour, um, but again, I really couldn't get this to stamp very well, but I did keep trying and persevering. And I did also then add in um, a little bit of the Distress ink as well, just to see if that made a difference but to be honest I really wasn't that happy with how this came out. You can see both of the cards here I did try to do again the exact same thing on this just to make life a little bit easier but I do wish that I had done something different. I literally could have gone um, and just put a, an additional piece of cardstock over the top of this and restamped it but I just decided to leave it as it was. And just to finish these off I did add some Nuvo uh, crystal drops in the simple uh, simply white uh, just to add a little bit of extra embellishment. So here are my two finished cards. I have paired these with two handmade envelopes as well that I have coordinated then with the colour of the gnomes top as well. So I will leave some links in the description box down below to some of the products that I have used in this video. And if you have liked it, then please give this video a thumbs up. It is really greatly appreciated. So on screen now, there's a few other videos that you might be interested in, but be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. See you in the next video and happy crafting.